All right, boys, so we're back today with the Trading Every Player Rebuild State using the Miami Heat. So welcome back to another Miley Rebuild here today. And as I mentioned, using the Miami Heat, I'm excited to use this team. I don't think I've done a Heat Rebuild in an absolute minute, so I, I did get a couple requests for some different Heat Rebuilds, more so the throwback rebuilds. We're going to be getting into those throwback rebuilds. You guys seem to enjoy them a ton. So today we're doing a Trading Every Player Rebuild, though, obviously, you know, with a team that's really underrated in my opinion. I think Jimmy Butler has had, you know, another Jimmy Butler type year, obviously, Bam Adebayo has emerged as definitely a most improved player candidate. I don't really know much about Goran Dragic. Obviously, you know, Kendrick Nunn, where the hell is he? Duncan Robinson here, but unbelievable signing. Or I guess, yeah, they did technically. They trade for Iggy? Like, what even was that whole situation? I forget that whole situation. Hero's been unbelievable, but unfortunately, all those guys are going to be gone today. So if you guys don't know how these work, basically, I trade every player. I close my eyes. I have no say what the trades are. Uh, after I trade every player, I cannot trade anybody else for the rest of the season. I can sign for agents if I want to, if there's anybody I need. Other than that, though, the team's got to stay the same for the year at number one. So, other than that, if you guys are new around here, some, like, 45% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed. So, want to help a guy out? Toss me a sub. Uh, and if you guys, of course, if we get a 300 likes in this video, that would be absolutely awesome. And, of course, leave any other video ideas down below in the comment section. But back to this. We're going to start it out hot. We're going to start it out hot. Jimmy Butler going to be getting traded here. I am just looking through these trade offers. Like, Porzingis would be great. Some of these are not so good, though. So, of course, I have no say. So, we're going to go ahead and stop this one in three, two, and one. And we end up with Derrick Rose and Blake Griffin. Okay, I feel like there's definitely been some, like, Blake Griffin to Miami rumors at one point. I don't really know so much about D. Rose. But, you know, I don't really get D. Rose a ton. And when I do, I feel like I do trade him. We're going to move Ban to power forward just because overall is going to jump. And I think, yeah, Goran Dragic low-key jumps a shooting guard, too. So, might as well do that. We're going to pair them together. There's no rules about if I can pair anybody together or anything like that. So, three, two, and a one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Bam Adebayo and Goran Dragic are going to Dallas for Willie Cauley-Stein and Tim Hardaway Jr. That is so disgusting. Like, I... Ugh. Gross. Kendrick Nunn and Kelly Olenek. I mean, I try to go through these pretty fast just because, you know, again, they take so... Like, it takes a long time to trade every single player. So, three, two, one. We're actually going to go one to the left this time. Alfred Payton and Taj Gibson are women KCP. All right, honestly, I'll take this. That that could have been worse. But I still cannot believe the fact that I just traded, like, one of the best centers in the NBA and a very decent point guard for Willie Cauley-Stein and Tim Hardaway Jr. Like, that's just, it's crazy to me. Derek Jones Jr., Duncan Robinson, going to be the next two victims, I guess. I think that's a good word to describe what I'm doing here. Uh, in three, two, and one. And we get Robert Williams and Brad Wanamaker. Robert Williams is a really underrated player, in my opinion. Of course, when he's healthy, I know he had some hip injury issues. I think it was more of a hip um hero and leonard now and okay that's fine three two and one spencer dinwiddie and Tyrion prince that works for me all right um i'm not really sure like how many like i really like trading everybody here I think jay crowder was on wait wait a minute jay crowder wasn't on this yeah no I for, honestly, like, I'm, like, 99% positive he's on Utah, and I got him a different trade, but I'm probably going to forget something here. Um, wait, did I not get Jake? Was Jake Crowder on this team? Hmm, I guess Jake Crowder was here. I really did not think Jake Crowder was on the Miami Heat, but you know what? I, got, I was very wrong on that part, so I'm glad I looked. I'm very, very glad I looked. Uh, so Crowder, and honestly, like, I'm not even going to worry about, like, Solomon Hill and, like, I'll do Kiziak Paula, but the rest of these guys, I mean, they're never even going to play. So, like, why waste time? So, three, two, and one. Brooke Lopez and Sterling Brown. Brooke Lopez, more than a serviceable center, even though I did kind of want to get Robert Williams in playing time. So, I mean, is there anybody here that else I really care about? Like, I'm going to keep Haslam just because I feel like, you know what, keeping you honest, Haslam is not the worst thing in the world. But let's look at this rotation right now. Uh, yeah, this is kind of what I expected. And, of course, I really can't do much in the trading department. All right, I think I am going to send Robert Williams down to the G League just because he does have a couple years, and hopefully he can, you know, boost that overall a little bit. Um, other than that, though, I definitely might have to sign a free agent or two. I think I'm actually going to move Taj Gibson to power forward right now. Uh, I think, yeah, well, first of all, I kind of like him at power forward more. He's only six foot nine, And then I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I guess I'll move Dinwiddie to shooting guard for now. Honestly, Dinwiddie's going to start then. That's actually, you know, better for me, honestly. So... After this, I think I definitely, you know, need to find some sort of small forward in free agency. Uh, I'm not really sure what's here. That's the only problem. Small forwards. Gerald Green. Oh, uh, boy. Nicole Miritich, do I have the money? I don't. But, all right, let me release somebody and let me see if I can clear up some money. So, I released, like, a low 70 overall. I was going to, going to sign Nicole Miritich, but, yeah, we just don't have the money. So, what I think I'm actually going to do is I think I'm going to sign Tyreek Evans here. Uh, I'm actually going to do it on a two-year deal, and then, you know, why not? Maybe I can trade him this offseason. Uh, but I'm just going to move him to small forward. His overall might even jump one. Uh, yeah, it does. So Tyreek Evans is going to be starting here for us, year number one. 
Um, I don't really have a backup for him, unfortunately. But honestly, I don't mind that much. So, Alfred, I mean, this bench is honestly pretty good. Alfred Payne's going to play about 12. Uh, we'll go 16 here. Tim Hardaway Jr. is going to be our sixth man. There's no way in hell Taj Gibson's my sixth man. He's going to play like 17 tonight. 24 there. Lopez, 32. Blake's going to play like 34. 32, 35, 36, definitely. Actually, we'll give a 33rd. And we'll give a 35th here to Blake. All right, that is the rotation. Actually, no, no, 32 and 33. That is the rotation here. Year number one, D. Rose, Dinwiddie, Evans, Griffin, and Lopez, Bench, Hardaway Jr., Gibson, Willie Cauley-Stein, and Alfred Payton. Um, I don't love it, but we'll see how we can do. I'll see you guys at the end of year number one. So don't get me wrong. I didn't think this team was, like, very good. I didn't think we were 24 wins bad, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't feel like eh, it might be a day that 2K is not being very nice to me. But nonetheless, you know what? Hopefully we'll have a good pick. If we Wait, do the Miami Heat even have their pick? Oh, my God. If we don't have our pick or some, something, I'm going to be pretty ticked. Giannis, MVP, John Morant, Yusuf Nurkic, Kawhi, Luka, and Frank Vogel. I mean, again, I, they're pretty similar every time. I just kind of skip through them. Obviously, we're not in the playoffs. Um, let's see what pick we're projected right now. It is currently three in the East, 24 wins. So, yeah, we're currently projected pick three, which is, again, tied for the number one odds. So, we're technically projected the first overall pick. Dinwiddie less than scoring. Then it was D. Rose, Tyreek Evans. Blake was just Terrible. Terrible. I mean, 41% from the field is not that bad. If I mean, he's not known, but like if he's taking five and a half threes a game, he can't be shooting 25%. I just can't be having that. Tim Hardaway Jr., Brooke Lopez. I mean, I just, I'm sure Brooke was a little bit better from three. Uh, 28% for, like, Brooke Lopez is, what is Brooke Lopez's three point percentage? Like, there's no way he's a 28% three point. He's like one of, it's one of, if not the best three point shooting big men in the league. Brooke Lopez stats. Like, there's no way he's at like 28%. There's just, there's no way. I just, I, I refuse to believe it. And I, I know I'm getting my panties in a twist right now, but like, I just, I can't see that. Where is it? Three point percentage. So last year was the 36. This year at the moment, he's like a 30%. But like, I, did, I don't know. I just think he's a better three point shooter than that. But then again, 2K is 2K. All right. We're obviously not in the playoffs right now. Team stats, I'm sure we were not very good. Literally 100, 102 points per game. And we were very bad defense, defensively. God, let me get to this offseason, please. The Raptors go back-to-back. -back. They beat the Clippers. Pascal Siakam is your finals MVP as they win in five. So, as I mentioned, it is time for the offseason. Obviously, you know, not really looking forward to, you know, this team having another bad year. So, I'm hoping we can do something pretty good. Do we have our draft pick? Wait, what? Oh, okay. We're projected pick two. Okay, we full-on have our draft pick. We end up with the second overall pick. Okay, I don't know why. I just, I just totally missed that, but... I just, I'm not firing Eric Spolster. He has good ratings. Uh, John Smith, I don't even know who you are. You're fired. You probably are not a real person. Give me Randy Martin, uh, James Graham. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised. People used to really get upset when I would just never change, like, my coaching staff. But, like, ultimately, it's something you really never see. So, I don't really understand. It's just better ratings. That's just my opinion. But if you guys want me to change it up, let me know in the comment section. I can do it pretty easily. So, we're up to the draft now. As I mentioned, second overall pick. I think, well, one, I don't want to trade Derrick Rose, but every time I get him, I don't. you don't have bird rights on him going into free agency next year, and then I'm just kind of stuck in no man's land without a point guard. So I think trading him is probably a smart idea. Blake Griffin's gone. Blake Griffin, I mean, it's just, what? like, what is this? What is this year? What is this, Blake? Like, it's, I don't know. I mean, look at his field goal percentage. It is so down. I just, I don't know. I really don't. So I'm definitely going to have at least one or two trades. I'll be back. Trade number one here is with the Atlanta Hawks. Tarian Prince, I guess, is going back to Atlanta for two unprotected first round picks. They they value Tarian Prince that high. That is also something that needs to really be fixed in 2K. But will they ever do it? Probably not. I'm really liking this deal here from Milwaukee. I don't want to give up Robert Williams. I'd be happy to just give you Blake Griffin. Okay, they, they want it. So... Um, I will give you our first round pick next year. Cause I think we're definitely gonna be a little bit better. They want Tyreek Evans. They'll give me Patty Mills. That's fine. I'm probably going to trade Patty Mills just cause he's making $13 million, but Chris Middleton's going to come in here and kind of be the new face of this team. Um, as much as I'd love to keep Brooke Lopez and maybe even Patty Mills, I just think that's $25 million there that I would much rather save. So they're probably both going to be moved. Like I really want to blow this team up. Like I really think I can find like guys to come in here and that are going to mesh well together. And honestly, these guys just are not right now. So, you know what? Hold up. I might actually be able to package all these guys. I'll be back. Oh. Well, I didn't think that was going to go through, but we now have Devin Booker here. Um, where is it? That was the trade I just made. Uh, hopefully, I queued in a few seconds or a few seconds before, so you don't have to see it. But I didn't even give up a first round pick, and we just got Devin Booker. It was D Rose, Brooke, a second, and Patty Mills. Um, it was all guys I was going to be getting rid of anyway. So we still do have the second overall pick here. Um, I'm assuming LaMelo is probably going number one overall. It's just typically how it tends. Oh, wow. It's actually Anthony Edwards. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I do it a lot, but like then again, I feel like I don't do it as much as I say I do. So Lamelo is going to be coming in here. He's going to be our new starting point guard. I'm happy with that. I'm going to get through team player options. So accepted, accepted. I'm going to bring him back to Alfred Payton and probably trade him. So Willie Colley Stein does decline. Uh, I am definitely in the market for a new center. No, no, and no. And I don't know who those guys are, but if they were on this team originally and I just didn't trade them, I apologize. But nonetheless, this is what our roster is looking like right now. Um, I know I have Spencer Dinwiddie here, but there's really not a place for him. I mean, I have a good point guard. I have a new shooting guard. And I'm definitely in the market for a center and a new starting power forward. So Spencer Dinwiddie is now going to be the next guy getting traded. I don't know if Toronto's going to let me pull this one off, but Dinwiddie, Hardaway Jr., and Gibson for Siakam would be huge. I don't really have a ton of first-round picks left. This is all I can really give you. Um, you're not getting Robert Williams. You can have Alfred Payton. This is, like, so much. All right, that was... Ugh. I'm kind of mad I did that. Like, that was a lot. And now I literally have five guys in this team, and I don't have any money for free agency, I don't think, along with no picks. So that was honestly a bad move, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted Pascal Siakam. So, yeah, we're not in the money department right now. We have, like, $10 bucks, and I don't think we have bird rights really on anybody. Oh, Solomon Hill. Great. Let's cheer. Um, at this point, I honestly just might roll with the punches and give Robert Williams a start for a year just because, I mean, I look at it like this. Am I really going to be able to trade for anybody better? I don't have any draft picks. Like, I, I don't have anything to trade. So, yeah, at this point, backup point guard, backup shooting guard, Middleton, eh. I'm, so, I'm not going to give Middleton a backup. I'll get two backup big men. So, I'm going to sign a bunch of backups, and I'll see you guys at the start of year number two. So, year number two, this is how the rotation is going to be looking. LaMelo Ball, Devin Booker, Chris Middleton, Pascal Siakam. And I'm honestly giving Robert Williams a start. Whenever I get Robert Williams, I feel like I, he either just rides the bench Moving to power forward and trade him. Whatever the situation might be, he's literally never been in one of my starting lineups, I don't think. Unless it's like year number one in a situation like I had no control over. Which, I guess technically when I look at it, I really didn't have any other option. Maybe I could have traded him for somebody better. But I want to give him a chance. So we're giving him a chance here. Probably only going to be for one year. But if he, you know, balls the hell out and I don't know, whatever the situation may be, maybe he'll stay. Maybe he'll stay and we'll mix it up a little bit. Also, while we're here, I want to talk about the fact that Chris Middleton was ranked... By, like, Bleacher Report, of course it's Bleacher Report, as, like, what was it, like, the 10th or 11th best NBA player next year? Are you kidding me? And Russell Westbrook was, like, what, 22 or 23? I forget what it was. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not a Russell Westbrook fan. I respect what he does and all that stuff. And I've, you know, not always been on the department of, but, like, I, for a long time, I've always believed Russell Westbrook is overhyped. That, that's my opinion. I know he's Mr. Triple-Double, but whatever you want to call it, I think he's a little overhyped. I think, you know, ultimately, he's never proved that he can be a Batman. He's more of a Robin. But the fact that the people think Chris Middleton, I get it. Chris Middleton's a 50-40-90 guy. Chris Middleton is not the 10th best player in the NBA. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. You're, that is crazy. That you, And the, the disrespect to Russell Westbrook is just insane. Like, that, I wouldn't even go that. Like, to say he's, like, the 22nd or 23rd best player in the NBA, that's crazy, Bill. Nonetheless, back to this rotation. If you want to have a comment or con or comment, contra, or what the hell was I going to say? If you want to have a conversation about that with me, you can tweet at me. You can shoot, slide in my DMs on my Twitters. Twitter DMs are always open at mass underscore YT. While you're there, follow, talk, give me a toss, or toss me a follow. But that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. I hope a lot of you agree. But I signed Bryn Forbes. I signed Dario Sarge. I traded for Nas Reed. I signed FK Udo. Literally just swapped him for Nas Reed. And then Brad Wanamaker, I was able to bring back. I didn't even have bird rights on him. 2K just did that weird thing where it glitched because he was on the team last year. So he is back. But I'm hoping this team can be a little bit better than 24 wins where we were last year. Just my opinion. Hopefully it can get done. I'll see you guys at the end of year number two. So year number two comes to a close. Luka averages a triple-double. Like, very, very close to not being. But, I mean, nonetheless, an unbelievably impressive season. We went 60 games this year. We won 60 games. And we started out the year like 0-2 or 0-3. So I was getting nervous off the jump. But, nonetheless, 60 wins. Very impressive. LaMelo wins rookie of the year for us. 0.1 assists off of a double-double in his rookie year sucks but it is what it is ricky rubio six man and phoenix Kawhi, even the player of the year mitchell robinson most approved i was considering targeting him but me and mitchell robinson just don't get along. if you guys have been watching me for a minute you know me and mitchell robinson do not get along in my league it just doesn't happen like he bitches and just leaves me and it's just it's a tough breakup it really is every time rick carlisle wins coach of the year. looks like dallas won 66 games uh, we're a two seed here. We're a two seed here in the Eastern Conference. Looks like Philadelphia is one game ahead of us. Uh, if we end up playing them, I'll check out their team. But player stats on the year let in scoring by Devin Booker. Pascal Siakam was a stud. Chris Middleton, LaMelo. Robert Williams, honestly not bad. Eight and a half and 12. I will absolutely take that. I'll take it. R Bryn Forbes, Nas Reed, Dario Sarge, Brad Wanamaker. We, we, we got a pretty solid squad right now. Williams let us in boards and LaMelo let us in assists. Team stats in the air points per game. Um, looks like we were actually not that bad. We we're okay. We we're like 13. 
Could have been worse. Defensively, we were the best team, and it gave us the second best differential, so I will take that. Milwaukee here in the first round. Bro, in what... I mean, I okay, I also gave him Blake Griffin. I, was, I don't know why I don't play Blake at power forward and play Giannis at small forward. But, like, in what world is this an eight seed? Like, seriously, somebody tell me. Or seven seed, sorry. Like, that's not a seven seed. That's, that's like, a three, maybe a four seed. But, <sighs> 2K, fix my league. Fix my league. I mean, dude, you got the... I just think it's crazy when they're not even probably going to change one thing and they had literally the, the biggest my league YouTuber on the planet. Sending them a video saying, <laughs> Dear Ronnie 2K, fix it. And that's King of the Fourth Quarter's video, obviously. If you guys have not seen it, please go check it out. It's definitely a very, very good message, and it needs to happen. I agreed with almost all of his points. But back to this. We're taking on Brooklyn here in the East semifinals. Kyrie, Tyler Hero, Kevin Durant, Jared Allen, DeAndre Jordan. Looks like they're finally playing Jared Allen a power forward. Typically, they just have him coming off the bench, and I feel like that's just a waste of talent. But nonetheless, they are playing him. At power forward, we're up three one right now on Brooklyn, and we end up winning in five. We're now in the, um, or excuse me, the NBA Finals, the Eastern Conference Finals. I tried to trade for Ben Simmons at one point. I didn't include, I, I didn't put it in the video because I mean, if I put every single time I try to trade for somebody in the video, the videos would be like an hour. Because like, well, I don't know if you guys know this. I don't just. There's a lot of stuff I cut out of these. These videos typically take like an hour to an hour and a half to record, and you guys see like cap at like 35 minutes of it. So there's a lot I cut out. But Ben Simmons, Thibault, Harris, Millsap's a pretty good addition there. He's like a low key addition. Embiid, Penis, Canner, Bogdan, Bogdanovich. There, that's a very, very good team. I do not. I, I fully believe that team won sixty-six games. Okay, can we beat them though? Time is now. Embiid, come on, brick out, brick. Ah, you know, I thought the the mismatch of having Robert Williams on Joel Embiid. I mean, at the end of the day, Robert Williams is a very good defensive player, but like, how many players players in the NBA can really say they can cover Joel Embiid as he wins a Finals MVP? I'm guessing Porzingis was covering him, and KP did not do a good job. So, we're heading into the third and final year here. Obviously, you know, looking to win a championship would be pretty nice. Uh, just the new assistant GM. Other than that, we are fine. So, we're heading up to the draft now. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Did I just skip over the draft? No, I didn't. Thank God. I, th I, I went to rookie signings. Thank God you can exit out. But, actually, I don't even have any picks anyways. That would have sucked, though, because I would have gotten two scrubs or one scrub, whatever it may have been, and I wouldn't have been able to do anything with it. But, team player options. Like, this, this is why nobody likes my league in 2K. This is why. I, I mean, this happens all the time, and I know people get, like, annoyed with it, but I'm going to continue to do it. Why would Robert Williams not, like, even if he was terrible, why would I not pick up a $3 million team option on an 82 overall? Which makes no sense. Wanamaker, he can come back if he wants. I'm sure I can improve that in some way, shape, or form. Um, but, yeah, I definitely need to look to probably improve my center position, especially, you know, being in the East, Joel, or Joel Embiid, guys like that, and honestly... Giannis, if we're being honest here. Um, so, I don't know. I really don't think I'm just going to straight up be able to find a good trade for Robert Williams, but let me see what I can do. I have no idea if Chicago's going to take this, but I think Wendell Carter Jr. is a definite improvement over Robert Williams. And funny enough, I wanted to offer them this. I'm taking in $411,000 more. So that is why I have to give up Nas Reed in this trade. And honestly, I don't even know if they're going to take it. They want a first-round pick, and they're going to give me a more valuable first. So, Wendell Carter Jr. is my new center. I feel like he's, you know, the height. I think it, they list Robert Williams at 6'9", I just think Wendell Carter Jr. is undoubtedly a better player. So, at this point in time, um, we're in an interesting spot. We're in an interesting spot, to say the least. Uh, I definitely need to pick up some solid backups. Shooting guard and power forward are fine. I need a backup center and need a backup point guard. So, who has, like, a what are the better backup options here? JaVale McGee. Actually, I'll, I'll take Kelly Linick. I feel like whenever I get Kelly Linick, I just trade him immediately. So, I'll take Kelly now. Um, after this, though... Even though I had a trade exception, I feel like that could have been put to use on the... Actually, it's only 256000 so never mind. It couldn't have. I was 411 over. Um, but yeah, Kelly Olenek's going to be here at LaMelo. I definitely need to get a backup for it. At the end of the day, he's still only an 80 overall, and he's probably playing the second least minutes in my rotation. Just I'm not playing a young guy when I'm trying to win a finals the most minutes. Um, so there's a couple guys here. I think I'm going to sign Jamichael Green, just because he's a pretty high overall. Uh, I don't know why Brad Wanamaker. I thought I renounced that. Maybe I didn't. But Jermichael Green's going to come in here. I'm now going to trade a first-round pick with, with him. I'll do a first and a second. Uh, and then where is he? Because I, I need a point guard. So whoever I can get for Jermichael Green, it's probably not going to be somebody unbelievable. But I need somebody here. And of course, every time. I need like a specific position. I can never get it. Never, ever, ever get it. I like. You know what? I'm sorry. I know I just said whenever I get Kelly Olenek, I trade him. But Goga's going to come in here. He's an 80 overall. He's low-key. Like, he's the same overall. And Kelly Olenek's definitely going to be able to get me a point guard. So, that's why I'm doing that. Um, hopefully, I can just find... Oh, Marcus Smart. 
Low key, you know what? Let's do this. Marcus Martin, Ashton Higgins, give me my backup point guard. That's absolutely perfect. I will see you guys at the start of the third and final year. Third and final year here. This is where, you know, this is it. This is what I'm putting my money in the, or money in the basket, eggs in the basket, money in the bank. You know, me and phrases just, ugh, they just don't work. Lamella Ball, Devin Booker, Chris Middleton, Pascal Siak, and Wendell Carter Jr. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be mad because they're going to be like, oh, well, I know Lamella's only an 84, but you should still be playing him more. Well, ultimately, my six man, Marcus Smart like literally got drafted as a point guard I'm, I'm hoping a lot of you know that but yeah marcus smart he's playing 26 minutes tonight as my sixth man if if i need a point guard he's got it and then worst comes to worst ashton Hagens is still here so i just know people somebody's gonna comment that because somebody always does about my rotations but go get dario sarge and then ashton Hagens. this is it this is this team i mean was one game away from the nba finals last year i think we can do it i'll see you boys at the end of year number three so look it goes back to back here at the end of year number three 66 wins for us I'm feeling pretty good right now. Still a little nervous, but I'm feeling good. Cade Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. I don't think, besides the times Cade Cunningham's, like, been on my team, and, like, maybe he's been on the bench or something because I already had a way better starting point guard, he's never not won Rookie of the Year, I don't think. Also wins six man here. Well, there it is. Anthony Davis, even the Player of the Year. Colin Sexton, most improved. Eric Spolster win Coach of the Year four. So, we're finally a one seed. You know, typically I get a one seed, you know, twice, maybe three times in most rebuilds. But today it's only one. Player stats, Siakam, Booker, Lamelo was solid. Chris Middleton, Wendell Carter Jr., Goga, Smart, Saric, and then Ashton Hagens. Rebounds per game went to Carter Jr. And assist was Lamelo Ball. Team stats near points per game. Oh, boy. We don't really score a ton of points. Like, I mean, we do 120 points isn't anything. Like, it's not nothing, but, like, you know what I'm saying. And best defensively, did give us the best differential. All right, we got Washington here in the first round. John Wall, Beal, Troy Brown Jr., Hachimura, Clint Capella. That's a really solid team there. They definitely made some significant improvements. Capella's a significant improvement, I would say, without a doubt. Looks like Troy Brown Jr., who I, I actually like quite a bit. I think he's going to be a pretty good in the NBA. Looks like he's now in the starting lineup. Actually, is he starting? Real? He might be starting in real life. I don't really watch Washington Wizards game, and they're obviously never on national television, really, because they're just fucking terrible. Um... Orlando here, we got the Battle of Florida, McConnell, Norman Powell, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, Mo Bamba, Vucevic on the bench. This is something I never understood. I've said this a lot, or not a lot, but I said it like previously a couple times. I understand why they drafted Mo Bamba, because obviously Nikola Vucevic, like being your best player, was never really going to work out. So I thought they were going to move on from him when they, you know, I think they signed him to a four-year, literally exactly a $100 million deal. I didn't get that. It might be time to trade Bamba then. Like, I just don't get the whole two center thing. They really, I don't think they can play off each other. I just, I don't, but do what you want, Orlando. That's why, you know, you've never really done well in anything, literally ever. All right, we went in five. Moving on to place the Bucks here. Bloodsoe, DiVincenzo, Akpala, uh, uh, Giannis, Blake's still on the bench. Um, they're a six seed, but that's honestly still like a two, three, four seed, in my opinion. We're up 3-1 right now, and we're moving on to the NBA Finals. Luka Doncic, Brunson, Doncic, Kelly Oubre. Bam! Oh my god, I forgot I traded him here for... Oh my god. It's because my dumbass made the world's dumbest... I mean, it's not like I had any choice, but like to start this video, I made a terrible move. That's a big... That's a good front court. That's a really good front court. We're down 2 nothing already. We're... I just, I just don't know what to do with a team like that. Like, there's nothing I can do. And obviously, the reason... Like, one of the reasons they're so good, obviously, Luka and KP are unbelievable, but... Me giving them bam, you know, didn't help. So this was the team. I'm Again, I'm at a point in 2K right now where I'm trying to, you know, get some guys. I don't always get a ton and, you know, mix it up because if it's the same thing over and over, it's just so boring. So some videos you might not win championships kind of makes it a little more fun, a little bit of a challenge, if you know what I'm saying. But nonetheless, if you guys are going to enjoy, let's see if we need 300 likes in this video. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Leave me any other video ideas down below in the comment section. Historic rebuilds are back. So if you want to see historic rebuilds, please try to find me a roster too. If you can't, you can't. I'm on Play PlayStation. So whatever it is, it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. I'll see you guys all in the next one.